Hello, everybody. And yes, this is me. Today, I me say record today, tonight. What happened today? It's May twenty, May twenty fifth. And um, well, today was the day where where seniors went to zero point. And I had one of the most greatest times ever in my entire life in on in high school. And th thankfully, I went with a couple of friends, which which mostly were with me. The entire time is Toby. Well, I forgot his last name. But we had a lot of fun. We had some food. We had good times. And yes, this is my room. My star clean today. A lot of interesting stuff like this, for example. Mm. Mm, sometimes it does that. Mm, that's all I have to say. I had a great time at Cedar Point, which is the place where we all went. We went on a lot of rides. We went on doing a lot of fun stuff. And that was it. Hello there again, everybody. I'm back again. And I'm recording my uh, video for um, my next um, video. Well, mostly Gary's Mod animations. So, I got this um, Ceno, which I'm doing. For the, for the um, update video, as you can see in the title here, Luke returns. The video is blurry, but uh, whatever. This is how far I got into the video. I'm gonna be working on it some more, and then I'll upload the video right now. And then, well, you just wait and see. Today is Wednesday, my dude. Oh! <laughs> oh, good old me, Luke Salmon. This make it fun. Hey, uh, I want to say thank you for watching the update for you. It's me, and, I mean, I'm glad that you had some positive feedback on me coming back in return. Yeah. Anyways, today was Wednesday. I I decided to watch some YouTube and watch some gameplay of stuff. We all know the the second Incredibles movie was coming out today. I was surprised for YouTube when I somehow plus a, across a let's play of the Incredibles video game. Part five of this level. I mean, this game. And it's a um, dash level from one of the video games. There you do. I once played this game though on one of the, on one of my uh, on one of James's friends though at his home. He he had a, a little son, and this was one of the um. I played the uh, Incredibles game though. It didn't got very far from it, and uh, this is. I've got a uh, pass from the um, well, a uh, couple of levels though that the game has, and this is the one of the levels though that I had a lot, a lot of hard uh times with this. I mean, and I'm not really sure though if Dashro actually has le normal levels though where he fights, but in one of his first levels. 
he had um running s sections of this book of, in this game, and uh, and some of the parts though I absolutely despise one this uh level though. I mean, I understand though though that getting good though is kind of a common thing though that players have to be, but this is one of the uh, most off. I thought this level was one of the worst uh, type of levels though that I have played in in recent memory. I seriously couldn't beat it. I mean, one thing, to point out why though, he dash does control like he's supposed to do. He does a, a, dash, a dash move though, but one of the worst things about the levels is though that Anything though that he hits though, uh, if, unless if it's something breakable, can actually restart you from the last checkpoint you have. I mean, I'm glad though that uh, they have a big huge timer during the beginning of this level, but this is. But I was constantly always keep hitting into cars though because I thought I could just um, destroy them without. But no, I couldn't. And you may be saying to me, well, isn't this? Well, this guy seems like he's doing good. Well, yeah, it does. He does seem. He saw that he's doing really good, though. I think that probably because though he had more experience playing this game. He probably didn't have a really good experience starting playing this level when he was a little kid. I didn't have a good time, though, playing this level, though. But I didn't really actually own a game though when I was little. I actually was like either 15, 16 when I played this game at a friend's house. And I absolutely hated it. I absolutely started yelling though, saying, uh, I'm swearing that the uh, Cape's little brother, brother listened to me. Dear God, I, it probably was my fault. That it caused him to swear. I mean, to be fair, you really need. Why can we just um? Well, I'm not really sure. Hold on. Um, I'm. I don't know why his uh speed move could just destroy um obstacles in his way, destroy the small cars in his way. I don't understand why. This dash move couldn't do it. I mean, some of you might say that. Well, that's because of the make a game a ba difficulty balanced. Though. Yeah, but this is the first level. I mean, there there wouldn't be nothing wrong though having a car be destroyed though when dash it. You know, it's a video game. It doesn't matter in context. Well. I've been looking down from the comments though, and I see a lot of people talking about the game what they had in the past, and and some of them did had um some well you know had some uh, honest opinions about it. See, I can um hmm let me see. I believe though one of them said though they had a hard time though playing this level. Let me check here. Well, this is mostly a a comment of the so many liked the level. Hmm. I think I I kind of forgot where it was. Maybe you guys can see it too. Whatever. Well, I mean, there was another level though that I found on YouTube though, which is from the forest. I believe though that was um, I mean this is it, the 100 mile dash. This level though was pretty much, I think it was much better though. Level though than how the uh, first one was. I mean, the worst thing about it is though I think though is they actually uh lowered down the uh, timer. But there at least this level though did uh, uh, a lot of shit. Fling it across here. I mean, it does have the uh, 
constant stuff though in way though, but it was a pretty fine level. Although this part though this section though is not really what I like about. Though him dash water running in water though, I thought it was actually much better design though than how the uh, jungle part was because you have so much freedom of room though and so much time though to dodge dodge stuff. It in the case you that you can actually freely move out of the way or get under it so you won't be able to uh, have to restart from the last checkpoint <laughs> you did a mistake yeah I, that's all i had to say for today have a good day today everybody what's going up everybody it's me luke salmon again and today i have recently uh working on a new video today this wasn't the only place video that I um, promised, but I'm going to be making it um, eventual, eventually. Right now, I'm going to do a um, video for an upcoming collab that I'm going to do. Probably wondering what it's going to be about. Well, it's all about one certain little Italian plumber listening to the depths of hell. You probably don't know what this good old rapid here is. But don't you worry. Soon when the video is up, I'll explain how it goes. And you, Mark, is, is gonna do the voices for the character. Special links. Anyways, I'll see you. See you all when the video is done. Hey everybody, this is I, L U K E S A L M E N. Well, today is 8:02 p.m. I watched a couple of the um, E3 announcements. I'm pretty surprised that there were a couple of games so that I was interested in. Well, the most interesting thing I was mostly in is the um, new Cuphead DLC. And this one is actually going to be out in 2019, which is next year. I mean, I mean the, the original game was being developed for 20 and for seven years. I mean, there's gonna, ain't going to be no surprise for that. But, but this is not what I'm going to be talking about today. Well, what, what I'm going to mention here is that I have been doing a lot of editing for the uh, Sonic Forces review, which is mostly Sonic made for Sonic Forces. Grouping two reviews into one video. I might talk about when I'm af when I'm done with the uh, Sonic Forces part. I might talk about his fan base a little more, but that's not what I'm going to be talking about here today. So. What I'm so here's the um, outside. It's, it was raining today, so you you can re you expect a lot of stuff to get wet. I want to be talking about something that is I'm going to um, address right now. So you, I said today in my update video, I was thinking of working at Giant Eagle. Well, it was well, unfortunately. I I had one of my uh, one of the people that I had to work which is um say which I'm going to call her Sakens to save the um, identity. She said though though I probably wouldn't be good to work at Giant Eagle simply because she thought though I wouldn't be doing good at um putting food in the bag. Although I usually do kind of actually went to the grocery store a lot, and personally, I believe I do know how to put the foods in the bag properly. But for, so I'm not going to be getting a job at Giant Eagle. But what am I going to be getting a job at? Well, I'm going to be work working at a um, school, which I forgot the name at, and uh, provide some and. I'm gonna help um stock shelves though at a nearby nearby school for the um, 
hungry homeless people. Well, they thought that they might, that job might be uh, perfect for me to do. I mean, I was, I mean, I guess that could work too. And so, firstly, that's where I'm going to be working. So, I'm, that's all I have to say. I mean, take a look at this um, beautiful outside for a couple of minutes. Alright, goodbye. Hello everybody, it's me again. Back with another commentary. So, yesterday I had some um, job, job stuff though at a, at a school for a thing. I, I was there for at 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. and just, there's just a couple of stuff that happened there. Well, <sighs> well, it wasn't all that bad. It was very boring. But at lunch, we actually got ourselves some pizza. It wasn't very much special. Nothing, nothing. We didn't have a lot of stuff to do. We were just uh, signing some papers. Um, I was um, learning. Getting into what I'm supposed to do, what I'm not supposed to do, and uh, what I'm supposed to be careful with, what my job is, and why I should not steal things, or else they're gonna start firing my ass and take my ass to prison. It wasn't all that bad. Yeah. Well, uh, for today, I got up in the morning, and and mom told me told me we were going to run together, and it wasn't all that bad. Today was a pretty much boring day, so I'm um, I'll just leave it at that. See ya. Hey, what's up, my dudes? It's me again, back at it again though with another vlog. Today. This was my very special day, and some of you may not know why today was a special day. Well, well, just a regular special day for me. And some of you may be wondering, what is this um, um black hair um female doing on this wall? This is my bed. First of all, this is my actually bit. Second of all, this violet. And third of all, today was very special because I went with my two uh, aunts and Gail and Uncle Georgie's to see the The Incredibles two movie. To be fair, in my personal opinion, I actually. I believe though that the second movie though still did um a good job though as much as any other um Disney Pixar sequel films. Finding Dory though was was good on its own. <clears throat> to be fair, Disney Pixar The Incredibles were actually one of my favorite movies not even want to be fair my favorite animated movie and we really set the um tone that to make well to be fair it was such a memorable movie dad I was so surprised though, that so many people actually enjoyed it as much as I do it called the first movie a great masterpiece what do I call the second film? Well, it was actually great on its own. It didn't take um, that much of a big risk as to try for the first film. But it was great overall. What do I uh, dislike about it? Well, it's pretty much though. I'm not really going to spoil everything that I probably might dislike. I feel like um at night 
feel like it not had a uh, less of screen time than how she did in the first movie. I feel like though that in night though could actually had a uh, more screen time during the um, parts. Maybe when Mrs. The Carnival was um having trouble figuring out where the um screen slayer was, she could actually visit her and help her out too. But it was overall a fine good movie. So that's all I have to say. Good night everybody. What's up guys? It's me back again with another vlog. And guess what? I'm I'm almost done with my review for Sonic Forces. And taking a look at this. This baby's is rendering my big video. Look at this. Look at the power of this computer. And then soon Oh brother. gonna have to do the extra content the game has and then it's fan base so stay tuned in a couple of weeks for that to be finished what's up guys today is is a Thursday morning 9.08 p.m. so I recently got finished with uh, reviewing some of this extra content and it's about to be finish very soon well that's rendering I found out something quite interesting turns out Mr. Mr. Enter is um is is doing any go go for some animation series called growing around um it's a fine all right um video to watch I mean most people might like, might not like this idea though, but we can see where it will go. Which is basically all about um kids becoming adults and adults becoming kids. Which is an interesting idea. I mean, it was all about a um small sh short for me a uh, cartoon that didn't got accepted which hmm. hello again guys today is tw June 21st at 7 6 p.m. Mr. Rented had did a live stream right now explaining everything about the um, process for his cartoon in fact I should I probably should tell everybody about the um cartoon what gave him into Mr. Into the idea? I believe. I mean, context should um should primarily uh, be explained. Well, a long time ago, Mr. Enter has animated series called Animated Atrocities, where he go over through bad animated cartoons or bad episodes of his favorite cartoons. Well, in one of the episodes, he reviewed a uh, cartoon, cartoons called Shorty Make Short Shirts, which um, which shows a lot of animated shorts, and what ha, and there were actually a couple of shorts that actually were, that actually got their own anime series. That I heard. At least that's what Mr. Inter said. I'm gonna go find the um, short and make short shorts animation. Oops. Well, the short part is very great though. Okay, here it is, short and make short shorts. Now this is one in the um, ep this is anime atrocity number fifty-five. So apparently, let me let me fast forward here. So there was this anime short called um, Flip Flop, and it was a uh, short anime short dress was a uh, Disney 
thing where uh, there were there there was an episode there was a uh, anime short called flip flop. It's all about a bunch of kids becoming adults and adults becoming kids. Although the cartoon didn't really uh, do it very well, which um, which gave Mr. Enter a reason to um, talk about it. Now, now mostly it would be just like that though. They may um crappy um they may not very good, um short, and that should be in a bit, right? But for some reason, Mr. Enter decided to um do something a bit more drastic. Bit more different than how he usually, um, but for some reason, this, this actually, this actually gave Mr. Enter the idea of what he actually wanted to do, and I believe in one of his update videos, he said that he's actually was going to um reboot this um like if I could find the um, update video, there we go. This is the one. I mean, this is one of the few where he explains where, um, he explained that he's gonna to probably reboot the series. See, he recently has talked about making a reboot of this series. See, it was made back in 2014, and now it's 2018 right now. He recently decided to make a lot of script and a couple of people were really happy about this, cause um, I mean, no one probably really would like a um review critic to um start making reviews about videos, want to make a cartoon about this um canceled pilot of a um Disney cartoon, which is, I mean, this is pretty much suitable, but but in my opinion. I mean, it's Mr. Enter's choice of what he wants to do. I mean, if he wants to make a um, anime series about a de deleted pilot, then then there you go. He will he will try his best, and if it doesn't if it does very well, then then do a good job of him. And does if and then and if it doesn't work, well, I mean. Well, at least he's tried. Well, that's it for today's recording. See you next time. Oh boy! Man, what a beautiful, lovely day. Hmm, I'm wondering what's happening on Twitter. Hmm. Is another Sonic Mania adventure episode coming tomorrow? Oh boy! I wonder what's gonna happen in this episode. I'm so excited. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, your favorite kid again. <clears throat> Back in again with another vlog. Now, originally, I was gonna um, talk about the uh, Sonic Mania Adventures Part 4 episode and talk about how. Well, I wish. And talk about my entry for the SMG4 collab that I recently that I recently joined because my entry was in there, but I had something much more different for a story now because Mega made two um videos about his apologies and it, this has really pissed me off. This has pissed me off the most. I don't think. I mean. Well, I mean, I used to be friends with Omega the Squid, man. I mean, I still really am, but after all this um, vision complaining, I, I feel like, uh, I feel so indifferent with his choice. I feel so indifferent with his choices about what he did. I mean, he made a couple of videos though where a uh, stupid shit about Sonic the Hedgehog and stuff. I mean, I thought they were pretty alright, fine. I mean, Sonic Nightmare videos, I kind of didn't like, but I kind of enjoyed the ending most of the time. I enjoyed the ending of that video, but now after I see seeing him be just a bitch and whining about Sonic the Hedgehog, I think he shouldn't 
shouldn't it come back to the next Smash game? Just, just show how inconsistent Mega Squid Man is. And then he made two videos about apologizing to everybody. I mean, he did uh, did make an apology video before, but for some reason he decided to delete that video for some reason. I mean, I mean, I'm glad Pick Surprise uh, made that video. <coughs> about how inconsistent Mega Squid Man was. But. But. Omega. Why don't you just admit that you were wrong for supporting him and you made a big mistake? And that would be it. I, I wouldn't have any problems with this. But. When you come to. Video about how. Heffy or. Should I say Philip Bryce how. Just. Was the one who also did some stupid shit just to himself. Like Sunny. Emily, a nude photo of himself when, when she was 15, mind you, just just blaming it on the uh, man himself, not just you by yourself. I mean, just admit it. Just admit you were wrong for supporting him. Just admit that you've done some stupid stuff. Just admit it. I, I don't even. I don't want to complain about it. But. I don't want. Everybody listening, please do not go and harass him. Because this is not needed. I don't. This is the me I hate him. I just hate how, the way he acted on what he did. So, Sayonara. Hey, everybody. Um. This might be my last vlog for this month. Um. I want to, um, give you guys a little update on my. on the figures I'm going to be working on. Um, me and Jack Tropolis had this, um, interesting special video, though, that we, that I'm planning to, um, work with him for. Well, I'm gonna be doing a small little animation there, while well, Jack is gonna do the, um, other parts. Well, something very interesting. And, uh, the Sonic Forces video... My friend is going to be um, recording some stuff for the video. Clots and um, Ghosts of Time. Well, I was thinking of having, having stock photos of old people and kids though, but I kind of want, might want to change that to use GMI animations with the uh, little kid from the um, Half-Life 2 game. Episode one, two, three, whatever. Both it might be out after the um Sonic Forces review. Well, the Nine K special video might be coming out after the um. Well, well, it will be coming out after the uh, Sonic Mania for Sonic Forces review video gets out. Also, another thing, Mega recently um, uploaded this video. Some of you might expect me to hate him like I did last time, but after um, he uploaded this video, um, I don't know what happened, but I kind of had a change of heart of what I said last time in the last video. I kind of had a change of heart, though. Even though my I made some of my points valid, but I kind of have this um weird uh deep down inside of me and have this um some kindness to him. So I don't know. It might be weird, and um. I kind of am um, having um, I did this um, part where I explained about um, Omega Squidman in one of my Sonic Mania vs. Sonic Forces review video where I talk about the um, fan maze from the positive side and the negative side. And I mentioned Omega Squidman's YouTube channel. And uh, I kind of feel like, um, uh, I feel like a changed person. 
and I feel like I, and after uh, checking out his um, video, I had a change of heart. I am not going to include this um, part in the um, Sonic Mini vs. Sonic Forces fan base view part. But at the same time, I didn't want it to, want it to go the ways. So um, I'm going to be making a video about com com well video compilation about all my vlogs. So I figured I might include this small delete um, part in this one. I mean, take a look at somebody who once actually does not enjoy Sonic the Hedgehog, like Omega the Squid Man here. Let's take a look at all of his videos including the stuff he makes about it. I mean, I understand though that he apologized and is just made for comedy, but dude, please, there's gonna be a point where everybody that, that loves your video are probably gonna get sick and tired of the same thing happening. And you know what? People actually did it. Why do you think one of your friends told you that they are getting sick and tired of you being Sonic the Hedgehog? Well, have you seen how many times you did something negative to Sonic? Why do you think that people show those private DMs of you saying that Sonic should never ever return anymore? And why do you think Pickle Surprise made a video about you? Well, have you seen how immature you acted? But to be real here, please do not go and harass and make of the squid, man. Because that's not how having fans for. And what good will it have when you start harassing somebody? Nothing. I just want to make it a screaming to learn that sometimes being negative about a franchise that he doesn't like doesn't mean it's always right. 